uh, express, Leo, a bit of dispute has erupted between members of an academic union. I'm sure this will be very edifying. So woke unionised university lecturers have been described as deplorable after <laughs> members voted to stop arming Ukraine. So, uh, <laughs> so Jess Kent, the UCU delegate from the Uni University of Sheffield, told the conference the war was a cynical game between the, between the US and Russian imperialism. Uh, and she said, comrades, I love it when left-wing <laughs> It's hilarious. It's so, so good. Comrades, the main enemy is at home. We must fight against our own warmongers. We must deal with our own imperialist government. I mean, the, the war is a, game, a cynical game between the US and Russian imperialism, yeah. but we, the US has got to win. The we West still has to win. win. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have, like, you can't just... When people say, oh, no, we shouldn't arm Ukraine because that's, that's encouraging war, it's like, no, what encourages war is when yeah, yeah. you don't stand up to people yes. like Putin. I think Biden's been too weak. He's they'll use too weak. military power to get whatever they want. They'll yeah, yeah. see that it works and China China will take Taiwan and France will probably take Britain. This is the trouble. <laughs> this is you're Again. absolutely right. It's not. Yeah, it is a cynical empire game. You know, yeah. it is. But that it doesn't mean you can, we just, do? you can just kind of topple over your king and step back. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, the and speech look, is online. Incidentally, if you want to see it, it's on YouTube. I mean, you know, everyone think. I think a lot of people, especially left, hope and think. You know, that the West is strong enough that at some point Russia will lose. But we thought that about you know Syria and the leader there, and he stuck it out, and he's yeah, still I mean, we're there. We're properly invested in this one. Yeah, like, hopefully. We didn't, we didn't Provide really provide any support to, to the uh, Syrian dissidents at all. Well, but no, this, I think a lot of the world's problems actually came from the lack of, of will and determination yeah. to stand. But that's why I wonder why we haven't yeah. moved in the Ukraine faster, though. Yeah. But um, I mean, what's interesting is people on the right, people on the far right and the far left, both criticise our involvement in, in uh, Ukraine. And yeah. uh, pe people on the far right seem to they see Russia as some bastion of uh, traditionalism and Christian values when it's absolutely not. It's got record abortion levels, the highest in the. Yeah. Yeah. In, like, oh, both both those countries, countries are terrible, terrible countries. It it is Ukraine, though... Ukraine is a fantastic country. It's uh, genuinely a fantastic country. And if you were some sort of, you know, far-right uh, nut job, you should be... You know, <laughs> <laughs> I will say this. The chap I saw, I mean, I have watched this video, the one they're quoting, he is an absolute throwback. I mean, he's insane. He, he makes Tony Benn, you know, look like, uh, like a, a David Cameron, at least. You <laughs> yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. And, um, and I, don't, I can't believe that he is representative of the university and college unions kind of core demographic. Well, I know, you know there'll higher, be a few of them. Higher there. education is a different is a different bubble. Well, yeah. okay.